hi hello hi welcome 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 lori hello it's raining ew ew the weather here has been phenomenal not to like rub it in your face but it's been like really beautiful also i love those fall guys emotes those are so cute the crying one oh my god we need to play again toad hello welcome in welcome in ah thank you lori thank you i spent too long on this today yes toad we have new hair i also bleached my eyebrows so they're a lot lighter i don't recommend but we're making it work we're making it work but thank you i um i probably straighten slash curl my hair like three times a year it's so much work for me like i truly hate it oh my god i wish i could like flip my camera around y'all my sound panels are literally coming off the wall they're like two inches off the wall but somehow they're still like stuck i think they're like pressure fitting together at this point oh boy anyway thank you but yeah i do this like three times a year because it's so much work but i always love the result i just i have to straighten my hair first and then curl it and it's like i usually cannot be bothered it it just takes forever but it was fine this morning i was watching um olive's crossing over on twitch i think she's still going and so i was like you know what we're just gonna put it on and we're gonna do it it was fun i'm happy I keep wanting to like mess with it though, which is like a problem. I just need to like stop touching it, but I'm just like, you know, do y'all ever do that when you do your hair? It's just like, I can't stop, I can't stop messing with it. Also, since I haven't curled it in so long, I feel like I messed up some of it. So it's not like perfect. And so I'm just like, <sighs> But I love it. It was so much fun to do. I'm really happy about it. How are y'all today? Other than the rain, Lori, I hope it's going okay. That, that sucks. I would be like, I think that rain in San Diego should be illegal. Honestly, it should be like not allowed. Up here, I, I swear, I think we're going to get rain soon. But I'm like, I'm soaking up the sun. I'm soaking up the weather right now. It's been it's been so freaking nice toad it's raining for you i'm glad that you like the rain that's good if you didn't that's even worse i've gotten to the point where i can like i can stand it like it's okay i just am like gonna be inside you know and the past week or so the weather's been so nice so going out every single morning um and just like sitting literally i'll just sit on the patio it's so nice i love it like Ugh, it's the best. I sat outside. Oh, sorry. I've been like chugging an energy drink and I'm going to regret it. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> uh, this morning I was going to go roller skating and did not. But that has been what I've been doing every single morning. And it's been so much fun. Uh, we've skipped a few days here and there. Um, and I wanted to go today, but I was like, ah, I don't know. I think we'll go after stream today. Yes, Lori. Got to. Got to. Once a week thing. Absolutely. Has it been raining like every day? That's hard. That's definitely hard. Ooh. Also, yeah, Toad. Biking. If you're biking to work, that is even, even harder. That's rough. Dude, every time I stream, I start getting spam calls. Is this like, what's going on? from Tumball, Texas. I don't, okay. We don't need that. We don't need that. Yeah, I think today after stream, uh, I think I'll go roller skating. I'm like really itching to do it. I'm, I don't know yet. We'll, do, we'll see if I'm like tired afterwards. I don't know. This morning though, I took it pretty easy other than doing my hair. I finished a friendship bracelet. I worked on this like last month and then just like didn't touch it. It's kind of wonky, but I'll show you anyway. If I can get it to like stay focused. 
Come on. Yeah, she's wonky. But I love it. It was really fun to do. I like, I did the fancy thing on top and then I like braided the edges. So like it works. I want to do, I don't know. I like the color scheme. I just wish it was like tighter and like my diamonds weren't like just so like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> They're not like straight, but I know the color scheme is really fun. So I might do like an easier design. I always have a hard time with diamonds in them, but friendship bracelets are a hobby I started like last year and, um, they're just very time intensive. So I like stopped doing it. But today I did some while I was watching uh, someone else's VOD. And I was like, this is like a nice way to enjoy content, but still keep my hands busy. Because I'm like very difficult. Like I, I can't focus on a YouTube video or a stream unless I'm doing something. <laughs> Who wants to be straight anyway? You know what? You're right. You're right. So yeah, I'm excited to do more. Now that this one's done, I'm like, I need to start another one. So maybe we'll make one, I might make one tomorrow. I'm not streaming tomorrow, so I have a lot of time. So we'll see, I don't know. Um, but let's get into the game. I have a fun little scene for you guys going already. <laughs> Just sleeping. Just sleeping. Um, this is from my uh, Instagram post. This is my outfit of the day. I called it winter walks. I've been doing these new graphics over on Instagram where I do like outfit of the days and just like little graphics of like what all the items are. And it's so much fun. I don't know what it is. I just love Canva. I can sit there and just make the most pointless shit like forever. Uh, so yeah, here's the outfit of the day. She's cozy. She's cute. We've got our mini Uggs on. I love those. And the faux shearling coat is just... Mm. Mm. I feel like a faux shearling coat would go so good with my hair right now. Like, it would be... It would be so cute if I could find one. Makes me want to go thrifting again. I haven't been thrifting in a while. I think it's... It's time. <clears throat> okay. So Toad, you've missed out on a little bit if you didn't catch any of yesterday's stream, but we've changed a few things. Uh, we had a pawn shop going and then we realized it's not going to work. The display cases caused way too much lag, so it was not happening. So I took all those down up here, but yesterday we finished our soccer field. No worries, Toad. I'm really glad you're back. I know I took some time off, so I'm really excited you're here. So this is what we did yesterday. We have a little hangout spot. Thank you. And here's our soccer field. I don't have a soccer ball. I need to go customize it, which is annoying. And then just like another little hangout spot. It's so like actual nature like yeah we're in this city but i just feel like we needed we needed something we needed some flowers you know and and then over here there's vladimir he's not home i really would i really would like him to go inside because we finished customizing his exterior and interior so here are their little shops let me see if we can get like a good photo of these because it's so cute it's not like the best area for a photo, but over here is Fuchsia. She has a hair salon slash nail salon. And then Vladimir has a like boutique court, sort of. It's like, I don't know, kind of like an edgy, like, I don't know, clothing, shoes store. Think like Spencer's and Hot Topic, but like cool, you know? I don't know if those are still cool, but like for a while they weren't, you know? So this is like, Cool. <laughs> Here's the salon. I'm obsessed with it. Fuchsia's hard at work, drinking Starbies, 
and waiting for customers. The pink glitter, is that an item? Wait, the pink glitter where? In here? Or outside? Well, we should probably talk to Fuchsia too. Yo, precious. Oh wait, I don't actually, uh, I offered her a gift, but I don't have anything. I'm gonna have to actually give her something. I don't wanna give her any of this because she'll put it down and I don't wanna ruin the thing. You know what? We're gonna give her a stick. <laughs> We're gonna I could. <laughs> You're welcome, Fuchsia. But yeah, this is Fuchsia's uh, salon. The pink grating? Hold on. These over here, the fences? Yeah, these are like the, the fence item. Yeah. It's just, uh, I don't know if I have any in my pocket, but they're just like one. I don't. Yeah, it's just a fence. It's an item uh, that came out with the 2.0 update. And it is like, it's going to be a staple on this island for sure. Because it's so cute. And the perfect pink as well. And I love how it looks in between the houses. Like, ugh, it completed it for sure. For sure. Yeah, that's like my favorite item. We have it all up in the soccer fields. Um, and kind of like at the... Uh, resident services like little town hall area or town square so yeah i need to put some over here um i have been like hoarding those fences from treasure islands like seriously i keep having to go back and get more and more and more and more i'm just like oh my god i've got to stop eventually so yeah we have a lot of areas complete but we still have a lot of work to do um, and I kind of want to start, um, with up here. I honestly want this to just be like, kind of like a construction area. <laughs> like, it's kind of the easy way out, but also it's like, it's easy. <laughs> Duh. But I really want to do something just like kind of chill right there. Uh, so let's see what we can get out. I'm going to just put everything up in my pockets. Oh, this weekend you tore up all of your island because you wanted a new theme. I cannot tell you how many times I have done that. I can't. It's a lot. Like, since I played this game, I've never completed an island. Or, like, completed as far as, like, you know, uploaded a dream address and everything was, like, kind of cohesive, etc. To where I would want it. So, yeah, I've, I've never finished one. I constantly would change my theme. Uh, just over and over and over so I don't blame you and it's just fun to try something new that's why I'm so excited about this island being four themes is I hopefully won't get like too bored yeah yeah this I think is gonna help my boredom honestly it better it better because <laughs> I would really love to finish a whole thing I just don't know like how long it's gonna take or like any of that honestly because I've never done it and so I'm like Ooh. But I have faith I think I think we can do it I think we can do it oh I wish I had more scaffolding but honestly we'll make it work I don't know how these like machines are gonna be up on another level but you know what they will be magically <laughs> They had to get lifted up into them. Mm. What else do we have that would fit in a construction site? That totally would not, but we could put one just to take up like way too much space. None of this city is realistic so far, but I don't even care. It just looks cute and that's my goal. Okay, any miscellaneous items we want, maybe like some bags, 
Sure, some boxes, heck yeah. Bottle crate, good for putting stuff on, I don't know. They gotta have something to hydrate with while they're working. Ooh, absolutely a radio, mm-hmm. Yeah, cute is all that matters, Lori. We don't care about functionality. Um, like, who wants that? That's boring. Blech. Ooh, toolbox. That would work. That would work. Maybe some paint. We've got the pastel paint cans. I like it. I like that. We could have like a cooler box. This, I'm getting way too many items. Like not all of this is gonna fit. That's okay. Also, I wanna place that and that somewhere. So I'm just gonna get them out. And I'm gonna get out this stupid ball so I remember to go to Harv's Island. Okay, and we can come in here, see if we have any small items we can use, like a shovel, possibly. I like that one. Or we probably should have done the pink. Probably should have done the pink. We'll see which one is better. I wish I had like an old tire or like a boot, the ones you get when you're fishing. Um, maybe we'll do some fishing and try and <laughs> get trash. I've never specifically tried to get trash before. You know what? We need a ladder. We need a ladder. That might be important. Oh, we could even like put a permanent. <gasps> that is the most annoying thing. I just needed one more thing and it's like oh <laughs> you can't have that okay well let's put down our skateboard um uh, there's already one over here maybe in front of Vladimir's house just like here That's fine, it's random. I like placing those around the island for sure. Once we get closer to finishing, I'm really excited to start setting up some cars. Uh, Cause right now I really need it to be like completely walkable as I'm like working on everything still. Um, but eventually, eventually we will do some fun things. Ooh, I like the purple skateboard. There's a pink one too, I think. I'm pretty sure. But honestly, the like damaged one is my favorite because it's like kind of realistic, you know? I think it's so cute. Okay, I think that we'll use this path. Actually, ugh. we should probably just use like regular dirt, huh? Let's do that. We'll just cover the whole thing. I will say I was like extremely tempted to get the uh, code that I found on Pinterest that was literally like a tarp and it was so cute, right? But I was like, I have no space. I have no space. Like we have four themes to complete. I need to be like brutal when I'm choosing what custom designs I'm gonna download. So I need to be careful. But it does make, give me a challenge, you know? I've never really used any of these like end game paths to be honest. So like, you know, we'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can make work. I wonder if we have any more porta potties we could put here. It's the most random item in the game that's become like my favorite. Just a little porta potty. <laughs> I think it helps complete the theme a lot. Okay, let's round these edges. I'm gonna have to get rid of this one because I can't round it. And it's looking weird. 
So we can round the rest of them. I think we can round that one. Yeah. It's kind of like a random shape for sure, but I don't know. It, it, it's all right. It's all right. It's going to be like pretty covered up by stuff. So as long as it doesn't look too weird on the map, I'm good. Yeah, it's whatever. It just looks like a blob. I'm not too mad at it. Oh man, is anyone else's allergies still kicking them in the butt? Last week I took off, you know, pretty much the whole week other than Monday because I was so like, I was so sick that I like completely lost my voice. And I'm feeling almost completely normal, and yet I still have, like, the worst sniffles for no reason. Like, they're not helping anything, and I'm just so tired of it. I'm over it. I don't want it. Oh, Toad, you're lucky. That is true luck. That is true luck. I've definitely been, like going through it myself um after having a cold i think i think now it's just allergies but they're definitely still like very prevalent and oh man you can't handle face paint you get like red and itchy that's not fun that's not fun at all does like other makeup do that Oh my god, this item is so cute. I Again, I have no idea how it would actually end up here. But it's really cute. Oh my god, it's not gonna move, is it? There it is. Wow, that takes up so much space, doesn't it? Some eyeshadows too. Ah, no fun. No fun at all. Thankfully, I really only have like, like personally, I only have an issue with like fake jewelry. Like, fake earrings, um, or like, sorry, fake necklaces, well, those do me dirty. Fake earrings I can wear, but the only thing I get, like, really irritated by, like, my skin is fake necklaces. Like, my neck will, like, break out. Um, it's so weird, though, because, like, fake earrings is, like, whatever. I mean, it's not, like, the best, but, um, like, I'll still get some irritation. <laughs> oh my god, this looks so stupid here. Why do I like it? <laughs> Why do I like it? I don't know. I kind of want to keep it... Just like right there. I don't know, man. I think I'm going to keep it. I think I'll move this, though, and put it back here. Yes, my neck will turn green, and it's just like, it's just not a good time. <laughs> It makes it expensive to want to wear necklaces so you pretty much never see me in one um but oh my god that reminds me i should have worn one today my husband got me the most beautiful ruby necklace for christmas and i about died and that one has been gorgeous i just like because i don't wear necklaces like ever i kind of forget to like put it on I feel bad because, like, it's so nice. Ooh, let's put the paint cans um, up here. Ooh, have I seen the new Avatar movie? Not yet. I have not. Um, honestly, 
I don't know the last time I went to a theater and like enjoyed myself. Um, <laughs> that sounds bad. Um, movie theaters stress me out. They're so loud and chaotic and I'm just like, Ugh, I don't know. Um, so I haven't really been to a theater in a very long time. Is it good? Have you seen it? Or like, should I go see it? I feel like if I go in the middle of the week and there's not that many people there, it might be better. Wow, this is such a chaotic construction area. I don't even know what's going on with it, but I like it. I do like it. <laughs> it's just so random. Here, let's put like our box over here. You went, it was really good, okay. Okay, I, d I trust you. I'm just like, ugh. I don't know. I'm definitely like a Netflix, Amazon Prime girl, you know? Like, theaters are just so stressful and so expensive. Um, and really hard not to like, like this is dumb, but like it's really hard not to buy popcorn. <laughs> and I don't wanna eat popcorn, I do. Don't me get me don't get me wrong. We're just trying to make like healthier choices for our body right now. Uh for mine. And I'm like, mm, popcorn's not the best idea. And like, how do you go to a movie theater and not get popcorn? Maybe I'll just like sneak in some jerky. <laughs> I could do that. I could do that for sure. That could work. Oh dang, it's like three hours? Good lord, I didn't realize. I definitely have to bring jerky. I need something. I swear you can put stuff on this. Am I? Oh, not that. Am I crazy? Okay, I guess I'm crazy then. I guess I'm crazy. That'll work there. <laughs> Yeah, pop movie theater popcorn is like unmatched. Like that that shit is good. I think it's like a thing though where like preparation is everything. So if I do go, I just need to bring snacks. I'll just be one of those people that sneaks in snacks. At this point, I'm pretty sure most places like don't even care. So it's not the biggest deal. Uh, I was hoping it would let me put stuff over here. I'm gonna have to move that and then do it. Building this area is not easy. I chose like the most random like layout and I don't know why. I don't think anything's gonna fit there actually. But what a bummer. That's okay, let's put the tank back. This tank that serves like no purpose but looks cool. I just like the green, okay? Like, can you blame me? It's cute. Boom. Loves it. Let me move that as well. I'm gonna move this back. Oh, I can't get through. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm stuck. Okay. We'll put... Let's put this here. Dude, this is like seriously the biggest... Or like the biggest challenge. <laughs> I didn't plan this. Yeah, honestly, I, I don't think like... I've never been to a movie theater that like checked my bag in, in any way. So it's like not that big of a deal. There we go. Okay. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll do that this weekend. I don't have any weekend plans. What about y'all? I have like nothing going on, I don't think. So that could be something fun. Okay, look at all these items I got out that we didn't end up using. I knew it would be too many, but I think that it worked good. No way is a tractor fitting up here. 
I did really want the radio though, so let's see if we can fit it over here. That's fine. That's fine. Um, yeah, I like that. And then I think I'm gonna put fences in front of it. Cute. We can honestly put one here. That would work. Mm -hmm. Your plan is to do nothing? I think that sounds like a fantastic plan. Yeah, if you need a break to get sleep, do it. Listen to your body, like, take that time. I think that sounds like a really good plan. Um, let's move this back. And let's put one more. Nope, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted either. Let's just move this all the way out of the way then and stop making it harder on ourselves. Okay. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's like a little cluttered in the corner, but I don't hate it, honestly. I think it's fine. I think it's pretty good. Ooh, are you the only one that has trouble sleeping? Definitely not. Uh, definitely not. Uh, I myself have spent the last two weeks waking up at like 7 a.m. against my will until yesterday and today. <laughs> Uh, today I got to sleep in until like 8 and it was glorious. My husband, uh, the best, took care of the dogs, the cat. It was perfect. So I got to like sleep in a little bit more than usual. And, um, I wasn't like freaking out about having to like, you know, let the dogs out and feed them. Like he just helped take care of that. And I was like, oh, glorious glorious so i got to sleep a lot later than usual but i will say i do often have trouble sleeping so i don't think you're alone i've had insomnia for a long time and it just kind of like comes and goes honestly so i never really know when it's gonna hit um so i feel ya Okay, I'm trying to think right now what we're gonna put in front of Vladimir's house since it is a boutique or like, a, it's not a boutique. I keep saying that. It's like, I don't know. It's just a clothing store, basically. It's not like a cutesy little boutique. It's like for the edgy girls and gals, guys and gals. So I want some cool stuff. Get some fire hydrants. Mm, none of it speaks to me, you know? I'm, I'm gonna see if I have any vending machines. I have one. Okay. We could also put down an ABD. Yeah, that's, that's a problem I had, Toad. I used to take, like, Benadryl so I wouldn't wake up in the morning. Uh, like, for no reason. So I feel you. Yeah, that's, that's definitely rough. Hopefully it goes away. Like I said, like for me, it just kind of like comes and goes. So you never know. My process for like building an animal crossing is just to like empty out my storage and like then decide if any of it is like <laughs> worth anything for the build like it's very chaotic i, I never have a plan <laughs> okay here let's see if we want the snack machine or the abd yeah that doesn't fit that great um let me try the abd 
If we can find it in this mess, there it is. Yeah, it's, it's okay, you know? It's okay. I don't hate her. Maybe we'll put a little steel fence. up above it yeah or next to it i like that that's cute that's a vibe i like it very cool i wanted to see if that plant partition i grabbed would fit right here just to kind of like i like to block that little sign that's definitely not how i wanted it what? What? Oh, the car is taking up too much. I mean, honestly, though, it's not that bad for, like, an entrance to the shop. Did I get two or just one? I just got one because we could do a matching one for Fuchsia. Could be cute. Could be cute. Okay. I now need customization kits see if we can customize a couple of things but yeah toad i hope you get to like sleeping better because i know it's i know it's rough uh i went to a psychiatrist for a while and, and one of the things that really helped going there is like i got something that could help me sleep that was like not benadryl you know so that's always an option. Let's get out fencing just in case. And I'll grab that other partition. Everyone is out and about today. Look at that. Cute. Okay, I honestly don't even remember what I was going to customize in the first place. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I wanted to see if I could customize this. Okay. Um. Hmm. It's not really like a store sign, but I think it like helps with the illusion a little bit. I, I like it. And yeah, the banner. Maybe we just make it like the open one. It's a little bold. I don't know if it'll look cute, but let's try it out. Trying not to make things only pink, like trying to switch it up a little bit. Uh, We'll do two of them though. Which might be too much, but we will find out. You can customize the trash bags. How did I not know this? How did I not know? I like the white ones. Let's do that. I don't have any of those. Mm. Look at that little flower sign. I don't know where I'm going to put that, but I'm going to put it somewhere. That's so cute. Okay. Um. Oh, I forgot you can do this too. Shut up. Look at the gyroid. That's sick. I like, I seriously need to like try to remember what is customizable better because I completely forget. Toad, thank you for joining. I'll be back on Thursday, okay? Enjoy your evening. Try to get some rest. And we'll see you next time. Mm, this skateboard is going to be so cute. Like, I want it to be, like, front and center with the gyroid. I love it so much. Um... Let's push this and then push it out so it's not in front of the toy machine. And then we can put the skateboard here. Ah, look at 
how cute that is. Look how cute that is. I love it. Okay. Gorgeous. I just keep adding more and more and more to that area. Eventually, it's going to look a mess. <laughs> it's going to look a dang mess. But that's fine. Okay, plan partition. Will it sit here? Ugh, it won't. That's not gonna work, honey. We're going over here. If it lets me. Okay. Cool, so now they match a little bit. And then we can put our open sign in front of it, maybe? I don't know, guys. It kind of clashes. It's not cute. Let me move this out of the way. It definitely clashes. I don't know if I like it. Let's try that. That's gonna, oh, that's cute. That's cute, right? This is better. This is a little bit more the vibe. Um, I just need to get another one for right here. Cool. Hmm, okay, okay. This'll do, this'll do. Um. What else did we get out? What else did I get out? I think that I want to put a bench right here. Doesn't make much sense though for it to be like over the grate. So I'll fix that. human agaboo shut up <laughs> that's so true <laughs> oh my god that's so funny the 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 coat really does it doesn't it oh my god i would totally wear this i i love it so much but i also i'm not one to spend that much money on uggs like i don't i don't think i can do it the most i've ever paid for a shoe is like probably like $60, you know? And so I'm like, Ooh. actually, no. I got some Dansko clogs that were very expensive. Lori, no, don't buy me Uggs, no. <laughs> don't do it. I'll just get the faux Uggs <laughs> at Walmart. <laughs> they're like $20 <laughs> and they're cute. They probably wouldn't last as long, but hey, they would last long enough for the trend, I bet. You know what I mean? They would be there for the trend and then done. <laughs> they have some right now at uh, Target as well, I think. And I'm pretty sure they were like pink ones. I can't remember though. Like I could be like spreading lies. I'm not sure. It's, I went to Target yesterday, but like they're, all that winter stuff is on sale. So like, I don't remember when I even saw the the pink ones so I don't think that they're still a thing I don't know I'm ready for all the sandals I don't know about you like literally when I went to Target on Sunday they had those strappy sandals that I have but like platform and I was like dead Walmart has been stepping that pussy up up absolutely um, their accessories to die for, like, still, back when we went together, like, they had those really cute, like, purses and backpacks and stuff, and they still have cute ones, and I'm like, wow, what are y'all doing? The, uh, the Walmart where I live, though, they don't have very many cute clothes right now, but their accessories and their shoes are like, really cute. So there's that. What goes next to a bench? What can we put here? It needs something. 
It needs something, I think. Let's see. Probably none of this. Ooh, I could use those open signs for their shops. No, because we have the other one. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Do I have a trash can? Do I? I might be out. I can order more, but... um. Oh, there's my porta potty I'll put that in the construction site. Um trash oh no it would be here i only have this one i'll order one i think that would work i can try a plant as well Ooh, i also have the fire hydrant that we can put um let's try this one the cypress She's bright and airy, you know? Oh, that's kind of cute. It makes me want another one for symmetry, but I'm trying to fight that urge. Um, it's difficult. I really want to. Well, Porta Potty's not working over here. It's not. <laughs> this area is too full. I wanted to put one, but I don't think it's worth the clutter. I don't know if it would fit right here. We can try. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That way when you're done, you can just dump it in the river. Just dump it on in there. Okay, fire hydrant can go... Maybe here. Nope. Cute. I keep forgetting I have the fire hydrants. I haven't used any of them. Um... Hmm. Probably use one here. We'll have to remember to keep using those. Let's see if Nook's Cranny has anything today we want. Let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. It's always the shortest shopping trip though, cause like, it's like five things. Yeah. I don't really want fish that have been sitting out. Thank you. I do want this lamp actually. We can use this in my house. Yes, please. I like that. Do we want to make a basketball court? I'm buying it. I'm buying it. I gotta look up though if it comes in other colors. Let's see. UCNH basketball hoop. Ooh, it comes in green. This could work. This could work. I need to see how I can customize it, though. Okay, yeah. We, we don't have to go to Harv's for that. That's always the best. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll make a basketball court. That sounds like fun. I'll need a basketball, but, you know. I don't want any of that. No, thank you. I don't want any of that. Uh... Nah, I'm good. Okay. Shopping trip done. Such a short one. This is why I build up my inventory so much. That way I can just like <laughs> go shopping in my own inventory. I'll get so much stuff that I forgot what I got.
the day that I play Animal Crossing without using a treasure island, it's gonna be sad. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna be like, what do I, what do I do? How do I get stuff? This is bull, you know? It'll be a challenge. We'll do it. Okay, where is the basketball hoop? Did the internet lie to me? It lied. I can't customize it. Okay. I need to go to Harv's then. That sucks. Bummer. Bummer. Okay. Before I forget, we're going to order our trash can. Probably order like three. Oh no, I don't think it's called a trash can. Like... Dang it. Animal Crossing always does this where I can't figure out the name of something. Oh, it's the garbage can. The garbage. My bad. My bad. There we go. Okay, three of those. And then I want another bell. Because we'll have a soccer ball, a basketball, and a volleyball. And I already have a volleyball, so I need to make a uh, basketball. Ooh, we already have that, which is good. Um, I turned it into a volleyball, though, so we'll order that, and then we'll order this one. So, very cool. Okay. We're gonna get out that other ball and we'll go to Harv's. We are making this day productive. Although I realize, like, we can literally just go to Harv's and use Tortimer for storage. So I don't even need to get that out. I could have done it there. Oh well. We're just planning. We're just planning ahead. Okay, I haven't gone to Harv's in a while. Um, I was gonna do it last night after stream and I honestly just forgot. Honestly, just kind of forgot. <laughs> um, I was gonna go and customize the ball, so I was ready for today. Oh. Isn't this the best when you have to restart this? Anyway, I wanted to be prepared for today. And I was not. That's okay. We're making it work. I just like to be able to like build and not ever have to like stop. You know what I mean? Um, so I try to like get all the items ready when I have an idea. So I'm like prepared and I can just do it and be done with it. I hate having to stop and like go to Harv's or go to a treasure island to get more stuff or customize and blah, blah, blah. But... I should just be more patient. Like, it's literally the game, you know? <laughs> That's how it works. I love how, like, there's, like, more of a sunset here. It's cute. Ooh, should we see what Kix has? Not bad, not bad. A little veggie bag. Cute, I'll buy that. Ooh, are these tights? These yellow tights? I don't have any tights, which is like a sin. 
I have so many other clothes, but I don't have any tights. Eww, I don't... No, I don't want sequin leggings. I'm good. Just kidding. Uh, I don't want anything else. I'm sorry, Kix. <laughs> Much obliged. Much obliged. Should we see anyone else? Eh. Nah. Let's talk to Cyrus. Let's get it going. Let's take 10 years to customize three things. Okay, soccer ball. What's this one? Oh, dodgeball. I forgot about that one. Cool, thank you, sir. Look at Reese just gushing in the background. So supportive. Okay, where is the other ball? Hopefully, we made the other one a soccer ball. I can't remember. Hi, thank you so much. Um, is it Jordy? How's it going? Thanks for joining. We are spending 10 years customizing. It's my favorite part of Animal Crossing. It's the best. I love it so much. <laughs> Jordy, okay. I was like, this is a guess. I'm not sure, but nice. Nice to have you in here. I hope your day is going swell. Hope it's a great Tuesday. Hello. Hi, cat. Uh, right now, we're on Harv's Island. So we have Cyrus over here customizing the goodies. And it's kind of a pain to come all the way over here and get it done by him, but it's definitely worth it. <laughs> it's definitely worth it. How's it going, Kat? How are you? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I recently did, I just did the hair like two days ago. And so I'm like, I look in the mirror in the morning and I'm like, you know, when you just do your like hair for the first time in a while and you're like, oh, uh, it's just, it's very different for me, but I do like it. I do like it. <laughs> Thank you for the follow as well, Kat. Thank you for joining. How did I get to that horse island? This is Harv's Island. Um, you just go to the airport and you're like, hey, I want to fly. And then, hey, I want to go to Harv's Island. And then boom, that's it. I'm pretty good, Kat. Um, really enjoying the the building we've gotten done so far today. It's going like pretty swell, honestly. It's going pretty swell. We're getting a lot done. We're getting a lot done. You're welcome, Jordy. Harv's Island is the best. It's gonna be like very, very useful. Uh, you'll want to go there all the time. You can pay money to set up all these little shops. I love it. Ooh, Kat, you also play. So we have four themes. The one we're working on is a pink city, which is like kind of amazing. Kind of a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed with it, honestly. It's great. Um, that one is really exciting. And then we're going to do next a jungle core section. I'm probably the most scared for that one. I've never done Jungle Core. I don't really know what I'm doing, but we're going to make it work. We're also going to do Farm Core, which how can I not? I love a good farm on Animal Crossing. And for the fourth theme, it is most likely I'm kind of like leaning towards like a fairy core, like mushroom vibe. But it's it's been really hard to pick a theme for that one. <laughs> it's been very hard. Right? Right, Kat? Not that many people do Jungle Core, and I was like, I really want to go, like, I want to go crazy with it. I want it to be, like, so many trees that it's, like, you might get a little lost, but also it has a really cool theme. I recommend it, Kat. I'm not bored of building yet, and, like, once I'm done, I get to just switch to a new theme. So this is our pink city that we're working on. We've made, like... Pretty decent progress, honestly. 
we've made pretty decent progress. I want to like keep going and like get more done, but I think we're doing good so far. I am happy with it. Like it's cute, you know? And I think that the pink like theme is really coming through so far. I think it's good. Oh my God. Thank you, cats. Thank you so much. Yeah, we don't have too much going on yet, but we do have like our town center that we've done, which I love. It has a lot of like character. I think it's really fun. My favorite area is definitely this market that you run through. It's so cute. I think it just has a lot of personality and a lot of stuff. And yes, I, I love pink so much and having all of this pink and the pink fences it just makes me so happy. Okay. The whole reason for that trip to Harv's was for this, this gosh darn soccer ball. So let's put it down. <laughs> ah, there we go. I was taking pictures of this yesterday and it was still a volleyball. And I was like, I have to redo those photos now. I was like, no, nah. I was so sad. So yeah, this is looking much better. See, that's, that's cute. That's cute. Oh, you're doing a Harry Potter theme. That sounds difficult. Like, that's hard. But has a lot of potential. Like, that sounds really fun and really unique. So I think that sounds like a good idea. Oh, thank you, by the way. I don't like empty space. I don't like empty space at all. So anywhere I can put stuff, there's going to be stuff. I like clutter and just, you know, too many things. Once you ever finish, you'll probably restart. Honestly, like I was talking about this earlier. I, ooh, I've never finished an island, okay? It's very hard to do. So like, don't blame yourself if you end up restarting. Like it's just as much fun. Um, like it's it's hard you know so i don't i don't blame you i don't blame you at all okay who do i have for villagers i'll show ya so they're all kind of like color themed with what section of the island island they're gonna be in so for our city we have vladimir and fuchsia Fuchsia is probably my favorite here, but I love Vladimir too. They're both really cute. Vladimir owns an apparel shop and Fuchsia runs a little salon. For Jungle Core, we're gonna have Drago, Celia, and Henry. I'm like, I'm so excited to have Henry. He'll have like his own little swamp or something. Patty is such a sweetie, right? So she'll go in our like, kind of like mushroomy fairy, kind of section because poppy and pecan are farm core they're gonna be like sisters running a farm they're also gonna be like right next to able sisters which is really cute and then teddy and Bo. so they're they'll go with patty over on the like kind of cottage core fairy core whatever core we end up deciding on I really don't know, y'all. It's so hard to decide, but I think we have a long time before we get there. We're still in the middle of a city. We still have to build an entire jungle and a farm. So we have time. Teddy was your first ever starter villager. That's amazing. Mine was Plucky and uh, Tad. No, not Tad. Oh my God, I'm crazy. Um... Oh my god, what was his name? He was a lion. Like, uh... Oh my god, I'm gonna have to look it up. I feel like such a, like... Bad Animal Crossing player right now. <laughs> I swear to god. Um... What is his gosh darn name? Bud! It was Bud. He's like the most basic jock. Like, he had, uh... He has like yellow hair and like a goatee, kind of like a like sup bro kind of guy. And uh, yeah, so I had Bud and Plucky. I've loved Plucky ever since. Celia was like my third villager ever and I still love her. <laughs> Is it Rex? What about Rex? Is it Rex? 
It was not Rex. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> Rex is cool. Um, all the lions are, honestly. Like Leopold with the green hair. Love him. That one's fun. <laughs> it's in a long two step. Oh, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. Um, so yeah, it was Plucky and Bud. They were fun starter villagers for sure. I really liked them. So let's see. Right now I'm trying to build up the outside of Fuchsia and Vladimir's house. Uh, just so that they look a little bit more like shops. So, um, Vladimir's house is this one. He has the, like, apparel shop. We gave him a little sign, a little ABD. That's looking cute. And then Fuchsia, I didn't have another sign, so I'm gonna have to get one of those. Um, but I'm trying to decide what else I want to put out there. Uh, I don't really know. I'm, like, I'm a little undecided. I was thinking, in between that, I could kind of start fixing up this area. I had a pawn shop up here and let me tell you it was cute it was very very cool but uh it caused a lot of lag <laughs> so i was using wide display stands to make it and it caused like hella lag so i don't know i have to decide on something else yes cat so i am here monday tuesday thursday and friday I have our schedule um, set up on the schedule tab on Twitch as well. Um, and we're here at two o'clock on those days. So I won't be here tomorrow, but I'll be back Thursday. But I hope that you get to like keep caught up. Like there's gonna be so much work done and uh, it's going quick. And yeah, I try not to do like too much work off stream. Um, so hopefully most of the island progress will be like live, you know? Jordy, can I make a tour in your island? I would love to once it's done. Like, I'm, I think that will be so much fun. So much fun. Um, I just have to pray that I can finish it. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm scared about. Never having finished an island before, I'm just like, oh man, I'm feeling pressure. Not by your like comment, I just mean like in general. I'm like, I'm really determined to finish this island oh can i show you the island right now yeah let me run around a little bit so this is like our little market right we finished this pretty much first and our town center is over here our town square this is one of my favorite areas just because it's like if you do uh ever tour this island with a dream address when I set it up, you'll wake up and then be like, boom, here's your little like town square, right? The rest of this is like empty <laughs> completely. Um, I have this set up a tiny bit for the future. That's it. This is empty. We have a whole lot of empty space, but again, we have like Fuchsia and Vladimir's house, right? We have our little construction area that we made today that is completely unrealistic, but very cute. Uh, like, why would this tank be here? I don't know, but I don't care. Thank you, Kat, so much. Thank you. And this is our trash corner, okay? Everyone needs a trash corner. Um, and this is the one for Moonbeam. I love it. So this will be our jumping point. So once all the islands, like mini islands are done, this is how you'll get to each little section. I'm excited about that. Your problem is you lay base so you can go in and fill in the loot and then you lose focus and don't continue. I feel you. I try to work one area at a time just to be like really careful. So I, I don't like get overwhelmed basically so if I just try to focus on one thing and then come back to it that can help but it can also make you stuck right like if you're not enjoying what you're doing you're not going to want to pick up the game so it is beneficial sometimes to like just switch it up Jordy no bridges not on this section of the island there will be on the farm and the jungle core but on this section I don't want any and then I wanted the jumping point to be like 
its own like tiny island, so I didn't want to put a bridge. Honestly, Jordy, that's a good point. The tank could be to store water for the mixing with cement. I like your thinking. Yeah, Kat, if you're stuck, like that might be beneficial. Like just switch it up. Like you said, it might be time to restart or you can just pick a completely like empty area on your island and just do something fun. You can always tear it down. You know what I mean? Like build an ice cream shop just for fun and then tear it down because it doesn't it might not fit your theme but it just like gets your creative juices flowing for me i like to do an interior design and that helps get my juices flowing and just like the ideas getting like going through you know oh yeah also uh <laughs> this is completely empty on the bottom right but everyone's houses are here in the meantime <laughs> like while the island is in construction same with the museum and able sisters and the campsite so it's a mess over there we don't go over there thank you jordy i'm glad you like the progress so far it's nerve-wracking i really like it i think we've we've done some good stuff okay so Right here was our pawn shop. I'm thinking I might fence, like put fences all around this and build our little basketball court right here. I think that could be kind of fun. Oh, Jordy, also thank you for the follow. I appreciate that so much. Um, welcome to the crew. I um I really appreciate the follows guys. It, it really helps me so much. I am very very close to hitting Twitch affiliate. So all the support means a lot because that means like eventually I'll get paid for getting like, you know, doing what I like. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Thanks, cat. Yeah, it, the support is like it's just so appreciated. Like it's crazy to be able to like stream and do this in the first place and then to have people here supporting hanging out it's really awesome oh cat thank you what you don't have to do that that's so sweet that is so sweet yeah we are very close um at 50 followers you hit affiliate but it takes getting like a couple over 50 for twitch to like recognize it so hopefully in a couple weeks, they'll reach out and be like, hey, you're an affiliate. <laughs> this should have happened a couple weeks ago, but yay. So we're very close. We're very close. Jordy, nice. You're waiting for the console video capture card or the device. Cool. We, I got mine set up like a month before I started streaming. I was just so nervous. I was just so nervous, honestly. It was nerve wracking. The viewer count I know is hard to make it go up to three, even when you have three. Yeah, so <clears throat> you definitely want to keep like your average viewers high. Um, and I had a lot of help from my friends and my husband, like keeping the stream open at first as well. So the followers was the only thing I was kind of waiting on a little bit. And it's like, it's trickled in perfectly. Like I wasn't in a huge rush for it, but it's, it's getting there. Jordy, do I record with OBS? Yeah, I stream through OBS right now. I have OBS right here. That's how I see your chat. It's, um... God, it took me so long to figure it out. It's <laughs> it was so frustrating. Um, but I watched a ton of videos, even though I didn't even want to. I was like, surely I can open up this program and just know everything about it, right? No. That didn't work. That did not happen. So I gave in, watched a ton of videos, got some help from my husband and from my brother, and it got a lot easier. So yeah. Now it's like, it's nothing. This is why I always regret the in-game path on Animal Crossing. 
because I never leave it and then it's such a pain to get rid of because you can't just kick it up. You have to use this method. I regret it all. It's fine. <laughs> We're getting somewhere. <laughs> I just was like, oh, I'm totally going to keep this here and it's going to be there forever. But no. You're famous for kicking it up when you don't mean to. Okay, same. That is the other, that's the downside of not using the in game pathing is kicking up the path on accident. Um, but still, it's so much easier. Ooh, good advice, Jordy. I thought about doing the circle uh, camera as well. I just literally yesterday changed my camera to be a little bit bigger because I just wanted it to be like a little bit more bold. And um, I kind of liked the layout for it so far. I think we'll keep it that way for a little bit. But I, I might try that out. I definitely need to do that for um, like reels on Instagram and uh, hopefully TikTok in the future. I like to change like my little camera into a circle so you can still see the gameplay. But uploading reels and TikToks of streams is a lot of work that I haven't fully committed to, honestly. Like, ugh, it's so much. <laughs> I'm good at making videos with just like the game, but when I go and take a stream and then edit it into a small, like short TikTok, it's like, oh, that's a lot of work. It is complicated, Jordy. Um, I studied like a bunch of different streamers and like how they, you know, how they made it work for them. And I watched a lot of different videos uh, and I spent about like two months, like kind of like getting ready to like be ready to stream. And even then, uh, I come still learning, honestly. So it just takes time. It's not, it's not the worst cat. It's, it's not the worst. Um, like I said, I just had to watch a ton of videos. And it's much easier now. Like, I have everything set up to where I just open it up and stream. Like, it's it's much easier. Also, you mean like the older version of OBS? Um, or is it like a different program altogether? No, I didn't mean to do that. Wow, Megan. Wow. Okay. Oh, I see. Streamlabs has their like own like software. So some people will use Streamlabs. Some people will use like OBS. So yeah, I think it's definitely laid out a bit different. I've liked OBS so far though. Like I recommend it if you like, you know, decide to like try something new. Ooh, actually, I need to put the curb. Or do I? I don't think I would need a curb up here because it's not a road. This is going to be a basketball court, so we might not want like a full curb. Yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah, I've I've like I haven't heard like bad things about Streamlabs, but when I was like starting out streaming, um most people recommended OBS and so I was like fine I'll learn it I'll figure it out and I eventually did but I, I I do know people use Streamlabs and like make it work so I think it just definitely depends not only on preference but like yeah your internet all that all that stuff yeah cat I mean honestly like just like watch like 30 seconds of different YouTubers and then find one you can like stand to listen to um about like talking about OBS and then like watch one of their like full videos um 
that's how like <laughs> if i'm learning anything on youtube i have to find someone that i can first off like tolerate and like hear and then you know i'll, I'll listen to their video i'm stubborn a little bit <laughs> Okay, so there's the court laid down. We need some cracks. I love this design. I feel like the basketball court would have a lot of these. I don't know why. Cute. Cute, 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 cute. Okay, also over here we'll put some more stuff. <laughs> why they gotta make stuff so complicated, I know. It's the the good part, other than like, you know, complicated, is that it's very customizable. You know, very customizable. Do I find my codes on Instagram? Not really. I find most of them on Pinterest. Like for this one, I literally just like searched up like city code uh, or like city road path design um, and went from there. But on my Twitch, let me make sure it's still there. I'm pretty sure it is. Hold on. Oh, it's being so slow right now. There's like, yeah, on my Twitch, uh, about if you hit all links, you can like find my Pinterest and I actually have all the codes that I'm using on here. Um, like on this island, on that Pinterest page. Oh, you're in a server that's nothing but codes. That's smart, that's smart. Um, I honestly don't use Discord very much. It's like, I don't know, I never like, really figured out how to like use it for me like make it useful for me uh kind of same with like twitter which i'm also now trying to use um but no i've never really used discord very much i have one that's like set up but i don't really use it too much let me see um i'm gonna whisper Ooh, no, it's not letting me. I was going to try and whisper you uh, through OBS, but it doesn't work. Weird. Hold on. If I can get it set up on my Chrome, I can whisper you real quick and you can send it to me. Dude, it keeps crashing. What the heck? What the heck? It's not working. If you're able to whisper me, you can send it and I can look it up. Yeah, Discord is confusing as heck. I don't know what it is. Jordy, we are a Treasure Island lover over here. I have to admit. I, <laughs> they are a gift from the gods above. Nothing has been truer today than that statement. They are a gift. Uh... I love Treasure Islands. They have my heart. They have it. They have a, a hold on me. They really do. After I complete this island, I do have a goal of doing an island without a Treasure Island. Or without using them. But I think it just might end up in me crying. And I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> because like... It's hard. <laughs> Getting items the, like, normal way is hard. I don't like it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Send it to my Instagram, please. Um, that'll be, like, super easy. That way I can check it after stream. Thank you. I don't know why I kind of didn't think about that. Instagram DMs are lifesavers sometimes. And every time I, like, try to whisper someone, it's, like, confusing as heck. So... Perfect. Okay. We bought our basketball hoop, right? I swear we did. 
Yeah, this is also something I forgot to customize over at Harv's Island. But honestly, with it turned around, it's like not the end of the world, so. Ooh, Jordi, I agree. I think that Animal Crossing definitely deserves another update. I know we're not going to get it, but like there's so much. There's so much they could still do with this game. Um, I don't know if we'll ever get it, though, which is a bummer. Yes, thank you, Kat. I will join it. I'm definitely I need to find a lot more codes for my farm core section. So we're, we'll build that up soon. Okay. I swear that I got out my... Like, the... <laughs> the basket of balls. <laughs> but apparently I didn't. <laughs> I don't know what I, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I'm really bad at Animal Crossing trivia, so don't come for me, but... I can't remember what the item is called. It's just a basket of balls. Ball catcher. That's a... That's fair. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's put it like over here. I do need to go to a treasure island soon and get more fences though. Uh, I have really kind of like used all the ones I've got. So that's a problem. Where did I put it? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's kind of like a weird name. Or it's Catcher. Like, uh... Let me grab it. Catcher. Like, catching a ball. But still, I just like... I don't know. I like Basket of Balls. I think I would rename it that. <laughs> okay. So there's like our basis of like the thing i think this is a little bit too big though honestly i think we should cut it off a little bit maybe if we make it just a little bit shorter uh yeah i think like here could work i like that i know it's like a unrealistic again but it's fine yeah, I, I still wouldn't have guessed that either, so, you know. I understand why they wouldn't want to call it a basket of balls, but I'm just saying, makes sense. Now that I've made this area, like, so small, though, I have to figure out what to do here. I really should plan these areas more, y'all, but I don't know. I find that I like my islands a lot more when I just, like, start doing something and then i'll get like a random idea i don't know i i have tried before to like sit down and write out every single like build that i wanted to do right like <clears throat> for example i was like i want to have a circle neighborhood i want to have a um like a smoothie bar i want to have a volleyball court all that stuff um but i never stick to it and then i feel bad about not sticking to it so if I just like go until I get an idea for something, it feels a lot more natural and like less forced and more fun. Like I'm not stuck to a list of things that I have to do. So. Ooh. If you don't do it or write it down, it will exit your brain. See, that's fair. I. <laughs> yeah, elliptic. <laughs> it was. Yeah. Um. If I don't, like, if I don't write it down, I do save a lot of, uh, like, pins on Pinterest. That really helps me, too. So I can go back and look around and be like, oh, yeah, I thought that, you know, building that, like, you know, construction site would be kind of fun. I don't really use it as a reference for the exact build, but I'll use it for the idea, you know? Strawberry Bun Bun, thank you for the follow. Hello. Welcome to the crew. Welcome in. How's it going? Thank you for joining. <laughs> hey, bestie, do we have a do we have a friend? Do we have a friend? Thank you so much for joining. 
I hope your day is going swell. Oh, cool. Well, welcome in. Welcome in. I hope your day is going really swell. Like I said, uh, we are building a basketball court right now. Do we have all the items for it? No. Are we doing it anyway? Yes. It's going okay. It's going okay. Aw. Thank you. Cat also are... are do you want to go by Verda instead? I can go, I can call you that too. Um, either way, I'm glad that they introduced you. And thanks for coming in. Gosh, we really need some fences. We really need some fences. Like, here I am trying to make this work, but like, I can't really put items down unless I get a freaking fence. So let's see if we have any. Okay, Verda or Cat. Honestly, I like both. I like cat a lot, but you know, we'll switch it up every now and then. Keep you on your toes. <laughs> Thank you, Strawberry. I couldn't do a city and not make it pink. The only struggle I've had so far is that not that many people have pink cities. So like before I started doing it, I was like looking for inspiration of like people that have done it before. And then, like, no one has really done it the way I wanted to do it. And so I was like, okay, well, we'll figure it out. Because, <laughs> like, I, I, again, I try not to copy ideas, but it's always nice to have, like, you know, references, right? <laughs> Somebody needs to keep you on your toes. Yeah, it is exciting. So, like, a lot of this will be just, like, kind of playing around. We've already done a lot of stuff where I've, like, completely taken it down already. So, you know, it's like, uh, I don't know. Okay, I want to see if that block fencing could work for us. I would prefer a fence, but let's see what this looks like. I kind of wish it would just go all the way to the edge. Like... I don't know guys, they call Animal Crossing a cozy game and then they do stuff like this where it's like, please, please just go to the edge. Please just look exactly how I want. But this is kind of cute. Like it's, it's kind of cute. I want, I want the pink fence, but this is fun and very city, you know? I don't know, kind of like it. Look at Drago down there having a, a little prance. Is he trying to run to me? <laughs> Can we see who he's talking to? I don't know who made him dance. Maybe it was Vladimir? It's possible. Okay, let's pull all this. I think that this like fence kind of works. It may not be pink, but I don't have to force myself to do everything pink, I don't think. So, could the pink fence go behind the goal? Absolutely. We could do that. And it builds up a little bit of height when you're looking at it from like down below. Like that. I know it doesn't match, like it's not, uh, Word blank. It doesn't line up with the fence below it, but I kind of don't hate that. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. My words failed me there. I don't know what happened. Actually, I think we could fit two there. Let's see. Yeah, it, it really does. This game gives us the most random stress. Oh, no, it's not going to fit, too. That is so dumb. That is so dumb. What if... Let me put the block fencing down and then try something else. That is so silly. Like, ugh, the fences in this game are so cute, but they honestly, like... It's hard to make them work for me. Because they don't ever sit where I want and they take up too much room. And it's like, oh my gosh... I wanted to see how close we can get that to the fence. I mean, 
that's not too bad, but it's kind of awkward when you're looking at it from above. We might just do without it. I don't know. Yeah, they they really are. They really are. Ooh, yeah, that's like so bulky. That's okay. I think we would have to have like at least three to like line it up. Honestly. But because I'm completely out, like I only have two fences left. If even, right? Okay, one, two. Oh wait, three. I do have another. I do. Yeah, if they could resize it a little bit, that'd be great. Okay, let me see. Oh. Ooh, I don't think that three would fit. I love this game. <laughs> wow, what the heck? What the heck? Okay. That's not gonna work, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Darn, okay. That's all right. I think we'll keep the block fencing and then maybe... <laughs> Patrick, yep. I think we'll keep the fencing and then we'll just like, we'll put in some pink benches to bring in, bring the pink back in a little bit, you know? I think that would still help. Cause I'm, it's so infuriating. But I, I do want to try to use more fencing. They're gonna get a nasty email. Hello, Nintendo. <laughs> Excuse me, um, you have frustrated me. That looks cool. That looks pretty cool. Could we fit one more? <laughs> Honestly, I like this though with the fencing. Um, I do think it's kind of fun. It isn't like what I planned on, but... I think it turned out kind of fun. Do I have a bench on me that I can try and fit right there? I don't. That would be too easy. That would be too easy. Okay. I'm running out of benches as well. And uh, that's a problem. The pink fence and the pink bench are staples on this island for sure. And I have used the heck out of them. There we go. Let me grab a few. Okay, let's try it. Yes. Yes, strawberry look. <laughs> Jordy, thank you. Oh, thank you for the for the good luck wish as well. I appreciate that. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy your evening. We'll see you soon, okay? Strawberry, yes, this pink oh, it really completes it for me. I haven't laid them down everywhere yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Hi, Bridgie May. Hello. How's it going? Oh, I'm sitting down. I'm trying to push it. I'm sitting down. Hello. How are you? Thank you for joining. Farda, did you get someone else in here? Did you get someone else in here just now? I'm going to freak out. I'm gonna freak out. Stop. That is so sweet. I'm great. I'm great. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for joining. Um. Wow, what the heck? We love pink in this house. Well, here you go. Here's a pink city. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming in, Bridgie. I appreciate it. Um yeah welcome to moonbeam and we have four themes in one island 
And obviously the most important one is first and front and center by the airport and resident services is our pink city. But yeah, my name is Megan and I'm just like really appreciative to have you guys here and hanging out. Uh, it's awesome. I'm really excited about everything that we've built so far today. I, this is the most progress we've made in a while on this island. So kudos to me <laughs> and to everyone's ideas, honestly. Um, building an Animal Crossing is so hard, but whenever there's like help and suggestions, ugh, makes it so much easier. So much easier. Thank you. I, I like the island a lot so far, Bridgie. It's, it's, really, it's really coming along. And I have hopes that I think, honestly, I don't know. I'm thinking we can finish this in, like, less than a month. But I don't know. I'm, like, very indecisive as well. So it's like, uh, can I? I don't know. I'm not so sure. <laughs> okay, we're going to put our little flower. It's a must. Just one. Cute cute i love that do we have anything else we need in here <laughs> you have faith <laughs> it you know anything is possible anything is possible um i may be indecisive but i am also committed i want this island to be done at some point like i want to complete it you know so as long as i stick with it i think we're good The little flower, I know, I know. It is uh, probably my favorite code that I got from this like design. Um, the whole road and everything in the sidewalk is from the same person. And like, they just had everything I could possibly want. And I just randomly found it on Pinterest and I was like, how perfect is this? Ah, I was looking for another steel fence and I don't have it. I'll have to get another one. Definitely restarting once you're done. I'm already excited to do another island, which is silly because like I have so much to do. Um, but there was like, I don't know, maybe a few months where unfortunately I was like a little less interested in the game. And I was like, no, no, we love this game and we're going to get back into it. <laughs> and I did. So yay, it can be hard. It can be hard. I've been playing this game for a little while now, so it's like, you know, it's gonna happen. But so far, so good. And keeping four different themes should keep me interested. Thank you, Strawberry. I appreciate that. Also, sorry for all the sniffles, guys. I'm like trying to like hold them in and it's not working. Um, I don't know if allergies have wrecked anyone else, um, but they're there. Um, they're there. <laughs> Ooh, no, that needs to stay pushed over. That needs to stay pushed over. I love this area a lot. Like, it's very bare, but I think if I put a few more things over here, it could be really cute. I just have to decide what. I'm not sure. Yeah, you too, Strawberry. It's, oh, yeah. I got over a cold and then got hit with allergies. So we're getting through it. We're getting through it. Last week, I actually took an entire week off because I lost my voice. <laughs> so we're not quite at that point. And hopefully we don't get there. Um, but yeah. Okay, we've got our little ball catcher. Or in my, you know, my opinion, a basket of balls. I like it. Gosh, what am I going to put over here? I want it to be like kind of like a hangout spot again. Um, we could do... Gosh, I have too many of these drink machines. So I can't really do one of those. I do have a snack machine we can put. Possibly. A picnic table? Stop, that's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. Let's see if we have any tables. That's a really good idea. And something that's like a small build, you know? Perfect for a little hangout spot. Let me see.
Honestly, I think that I'm leaning towards just like a small table. But we can also try these. I like to just get out way too many things and go from there, so. But this is a cute idea. I think this is gonna work. You might be onto something, Kat. Okay, these are not really in like my favorite color, like just being wood, but it could work. Let's, let's just, let's lay some stuff down. Let's lay some stuff down. It's kind of dangerous because it's like on the edge, but maybe whoever's hanging out here likes danger. Oh no, where do we put our table? This, I should have... I really gotta like clear all this out because I keep losing every item I pull out and it's like mm, mm. there we go oh that's the garden table but okay still gives us the idea still gives us the idea um but yeah I think that chair could work here I swear I grabbed that table like I have the memory of it. There it is. Okay, grab that one and put this one down. Definitely not right there. Yes, we have Draco over here. He'll be on our jungle island. Duh. Like, how could I not? Where did he go? I don't even know. There's Poppy, there's Vladimir. I don't know where he went, but I think he's gonna like fit so freaking well in the jungle and it's gonna be so fun. Also in our jungle section, we're gonna put uh, our museum, which I'm really excited about. So in our city section, we have Nook's Cranny cause I think it just like made sense, right? And then in the jungle section, we will have our campsite and the museum. And then on our farm, we're going to have Able Sisters. All right, he's so cute. I honestly, though, I don't know what I'm going to do with my house. Like, I still haven't decided where my house will be. Like, what part of the island. I don't think there's really room in the city anymore. But, I don't know. I've got to figure that out soon, kind of. I don't know yet. Uh, okay. I think I like this idea of these, like, two little tables. Like, it's not quite a cafe, but it's just, like, a, you know, place to chill. You take that out and push that. Do I still have my snack machine, too? We could put that here. Honestly, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Um, okay, let's clear the pockets first off. Because, like, they've been full for, like, an hour now. And I keep getting confused. So let's, like, let's just clear them out. Start fresh. Okay, sounds good. I will be here. I might take a break in a few minutes, but I'm here. Okay, clear, clear, clear. way too much stuff oh my gosh okay we need something for our little tables there's how did poppy even get there i swear she was over by resident services like i swear <laughs> okay um right tables food snacks things what do we want we could literally get a snack could do like a little little chocolate chip cookies mm. could also put like a drink i swear i had more food but apparently i don't 
Uh, I think it would also be fun to have like a scrapbook on one of the tables and then food on the other. So I think we'll probably just do like the, the cookies. Do we like the cookies? We got Cheetos as well, which is like, hmm, tough call. <laughs> okay, let's do the cookies. And let's see. The Sanrio foods, I don't, that is something I need to put on my like shopping list. <laughs> Like, I have a shopping list for when I have the energy to, like, go to Treasure Islands, basically. <laughs> That's something I should put. That would be really cute. Maybe we'll just put these here as, like, a placeholder, and then we can, like, put those later. I think that'd be cool. Um, yeah, let's see how these look and, like, you know. Dude, Cheetah sounds so good, Bridgie. Like, oh my gosh. I, honestly... It makes me crave the jalapeno cheddar Cheetos. I don't know if that's like a popular one. Like I know it's been around forever, but I don't know. That's like my personal favorite. Gosh, that sounds so delicious. Okay, we'll put a little fence there for safety. They could still fall the other ways, but. <laughs> this is cute. I wanted to have more color though. They do slap. They do. The crunchy Cheetos, yes. I love Cheeto puffs, but not as much. Yeah, I like these tables, y'all, but I think they just need to be pink, <laughs> you know? Hi, hello. How's it going? Okay, you have to tell me how to pronounce your name. I don't want to mess it up. Is it like Key? Keto? I'm so sorry if I'm like butchering that. I apologize. I know I'm messing it up. Please don't hate me. Okay, I'll call you Q. That works. <laughs> Hello, welcome in. Welcome in. Oh my gosh, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow as well. Oh my gosh, I feel like I feel spoiled today by all these people like hanging out like i appreciate each one of you um and for all the follows it means a ton it means a ton um i'm so new to this and i'm like i just appreciate the support like it means a lot thank y'all they need to add bento boxes like in the game oh my god that sounds that would be a perfect item oh thank you bridgie Okay, that is such a cute idea, Kat. Oh my god. That'd be so cool. That would be amazing, honestly. There's so much they need to do. Like, how are we done with updates? It's unfair. <laughs> it is unfair. Okay, we don't really have any pink tables and chairs in my inventory right now so i'll have to work on that soon because that's a problem that is definitely a problem how do i have zero pink tables is my question i swear i had like a cute table or something like from the cute furniture series but that's okay i'll probably go to a treasure island tomorrow and just like get stuff from my ever-growing list oh no i moved my note okay here it is let me write it down i know i'm so sad there's no more dlc either um but yes q i do have it um trust me i like yes absolutely <laughs> absolutely um i definitely used it a ton when it first came out and still continue to do so. Ooh, I haven't checked the DLC shop today. I honestly don't shop in it that much. I have like over a million pokey. <laughs> Just like never used it. <laughs> Strawberry, thank you so much for tuning in. It was really great chatting with you. Thank you for hanging out. Um, Really appreciate you for the follow and just hanging out with us. So thank you. We'll see you next time. I'll be back on Thursday, so. 
Yeah, I know, Q. It's like a problem. I, I'm so addicted to Treasure Islands that I usually don't even buy items. I know it's bad. I know. <laughs> I've gotten very lazy. Um, okay, I'm going to write down in all caps, pink tables and chairs okay yeah thank you again strawberry okay so yeah i i have a problem bridgie like there it's a problem at this point they really are like my savior <laughs> Okay, I really need pink tables. There was something else that I was gonna like get a bunch of. Oh, duh, we need more pink fences. How could I forget? I need like, like 50. That's probably too much, but I need a lot of them. Cause somehow I've run out. Used to be addicted and, and you bought the DLC. Oh my God, I, I bought it immediately like same i bought it immediately i'm a hoarder too uh you can't see all my items let me see i think you can see it if i put them away or put something away yeah i i have a lot it we're at 3300 items it's a yeah <laughs> i think i honestly have like 50 wheat fields as well for no reason. Um, I thought I would use them all and then never did. Q, you just randomly stopped playing. Did you get the like the DLC and then leave your island for like two months? Because that's what I did. I strictly played Happy Home Paradise only and like completely abandoned my island and my villagers. No regrets. No regrets. It was just so fun. It was something new, you know? When that when that update like dropped and that DLC came out, I was like, oh my God, you know? Okay, I'll, I'll leave these tables for now, but those are definitely coming down. It's not my favorite at the moment. What is this? A lantern? Why did I get that out? I think I was just talking and like randomly got it out. Yeah, you played it for like three or five hours uh, for a whole week and then stopped playing. I, okay, I like, I got like addicted, um, like extremely to the DLC as well. Um, and then I kind of think that, that I probably, most likely, most definitely contributed to my burnout because I, once I went back to my island and had to actually like do the work of designing and I couldn't just like move a tree easily, I was like, screw this, I'm done. I'm out, I'm over it, it's not happening. So uh, we're, we're, we're getting back into the groove of things with like actual designing, but it's hard. It's definitely hard. It's so nice to be able to use the, the DLC and just have any item that you could ever want. Ooh, I have three more fences left. We gotta make them count. We gotta make them count. I know I can fit one here. Ooh, hold on. Eh, yeah, it works. It works. I could probably still fit if it lets me, I could fit one here. Yes. You get bored of games so easily. Honestly, fair. Um, I do of other games for some reason. I don't know. Animal Crossing like has a grip on me. And I've tried other games like since I picked this game up. And it's not really the same kind of like, it, I don't know, it doesn't have the same type of hold on me. And uh, I'm just really grateful that I have a game that I love like so much. Cause it's just like, 
endless entertainment. Like, it's what you make of it, you know? Kat, thank you so much for hanging out. You're here as long as your service holds. Thank you so much for hanging out um, and just bringing others along. Uh, that was so unexpected and so kind, and I really appreciate it. Um, getting to hang out and chat was really, really fun. But also yay for groceries. Grocery day is the best, especially if you did a pickup, because that's how you truly live like the best life you get your groceries curbside <laughs> but really thank you um and i'll be back thursday so if you miss the end of it i will be i will be back i will be back i will say <sighs> q i'm like i don't know i haven't done it in a while because like it is amazing right but I also love window shopping. So if I have like a huge grocery order and I've like meal planned and I know what I want, it's the best. It's it's so much less work. But other times I love shopping, you know, I love window shopping and just looking at all the stuff I don't need because like I'm not going to get it, but I just want to look at it, you know. And that's where um, I get in trouble and spend too much money. Also, yeah, here's all the wheat fields. It's the problem. Ah, thank you, cat. Oh my god. It turns out they like it all right. <laughs> it turns out they're okay with what's going on on the island, you know? Like, they're pleased. Oh, we have a cinnamon roll stool. We need to use her somewhere. But yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, this... These wheat fields are taking up so much space. Every time I have to pass them, it's like really annoying. I should probably sell them or something. Hmm, I'm lost on what to put up there. Maybe we need a bike. Just something for this little kind of section. You spent all 40 euros on amiibo cards? Oh my gosh. So, I went to the store on Sunday and I was looking at amiibo cards and they were like $20 and I was like, I honestly didn't know they were that expensive. Like, I really wanted it, but I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I want to spend that, you know? We love pink. <laughs> oh, oh my. Don't look. Don't listen. You can completely ignore me. Wow. This is where um, I allow everyone to judge me for being American and like not the smartest when it comes to other currencies. <laughs> oh my god, that's so embarrassing. That's so embarrassing. 40 pounds. 40 pounds yeah it either way they are more expensive than I ever realized and it's a bummer because I really wanted them but I was like I'm not spending $20 on something that's like a surprise you know I'll spend like five dollars on a little cheap like toy and that's it yeah so 48 60 so like really close right like mine were like the ones at the store that I saw were $19.99 and I was like ugh Mm -mm. no not happening not happening it's a bummer like i want to try them but i don't know they also had the uh the sanrio amiibo cards which are cheaper and i actually have already bought those which was like fun oh you got yours from amazon that's actually a lot of amiibo cards that's not bad. I will say, I've been tempted to try and make my own. Have y'all ever heard of that? Like, doing that? I know a lot of people will use their own, um... Like, you can buy NFC tags on Amazon and do it that way. Which is, like, a little sketch. But I don't know. I'm tempted, honestly. Like, I will say, I am tempted. Um, so it's a possibility. 
Gosh, I had one more fence. I wish I had one more fence because I don't like the bike where we have it. But let's get out some leaf piles. Oh, you got the Sanrio with that? That's cool. I love all the Sanrio ones. Um, I had Toby on my island for a while. That was fun. Also, yes, I know it's winter, but one of these days it will be spring. Ooh, Pecan is calling us. Pecan, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, I haven't gotten a new reaction in forever from an, like a villager. Oh my God. Yes. Thank God, okay. I'm trying so hard to fill up my reactions, but I never get them. That's awesome. So far, I've got all of these and then all of the dancing ones. It is annoying to use amiibos to get villagers. Like you keep having to like invite them back. I specifically want them just to do photo shoots. Like I want to do photo shoots at, at like Harv's Island or like invite them to the DLC. I think that'd be fun. Yay, I'm excited we have this one now. This would be good for like photos. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pecan. I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. Yeah, <sighs> that is not working. We may have to go to a treasure island. Like, cause I'm getting frustrated. I don't have everything that I want. Man, I wish Vladimir was home so I could show you Vladimir's house, but do y'all want to see Fuchsia's salon? We can show you that. I showed it earlier in stream. I'll show it off again, though. I'm proud of it. Ta-da! So we have our little... Mm, like, hair slash makeup stations, right? I love that zebra makeup bag. Perfection. Also two wigs, cause why not? We might have some wig installs. And then we have a little nail station. Just something really cute and small. My brother actually recommended this. My brother was in stream yesterday and was like, oh, what about a nail, like a nail station? And I was like, shut up, shut up. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. So. This is Fuchsia's house. I love how, like, I don't know, it just feels kind of uh, like a casual salon. You know, like, you're not intimidated to go there. It's just fun. This is the salon you would go to for, like, a chat. And, like, Fuchsia would be, like, your friend, you know? I really wish I could show off Vladimir's house. I haven't shown it off since we did it yesterday. And he is just like, never home. Okay. Bye, Fuchsia. Oh no. I forgot to talk to her. I hate when they do that little question reaction and then I feel like a bad person. I'm sorry, Fuchsia. I'm not going back in though. I'm not. Okay, should we place these other green leaf piles? Why not, you know? They're there, we need to use them. Eventually I'm gonna time travel to spring um, cause building in the winter is not very fun. I gotta say, I'm not having a blast. Does anyone like prefer winter in the game? Or like, what are y'all's favorite seasons? I definitely like summer or fall the most, but right now I just want spring. I don't even care. Like I'm just ready for something different. <laughs> oh, okay. I am a little stuck. Okay. I'm going to take a quick break y'all. So I'll be back in, let me see. Probably like six minutes. Oh, perfect timing. Be back at 420. <laughs> 
at least my time. I'll put CST, um, but it's like six minutes. Thank you, Lori. I love that emoji. I don't know. It's like vibe. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back.
Okay, hi. Oh, is my camera gonna focus? Hello? Hello? Sometimes this helps. No? <laughs> what the heck? Hold on, let's go to like our full hello, hello. Okay, there we go. Hi, hi, hi. CST is like the, um, the time zone in the US where I am. So it's, uh, the almost like the middle i think of the u.s uh i'm i'm in texas so it is 420 over here oh nice i really need like i want to be the animal crossing player that has like a amiibo book you know i just want to be that person i don't know why there's a lot yes and like I don't know. I just think it'd be fun to like collect them. But again, I see the price tag, right? I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want that. <laughs> I don't know if I want that. Okay. All right. Thank you, camera, for cooperating. We love you. Mostly. Mostly. Okay. I think that we are going to go to a treasure island so i did get permission a while back from the person that i like the island that i use personally uh, i subscribed to them on twitch and so i was in the discord and i was like hey is it cool if i do this like while i'm on stream and they were like yeah just like don't show the code <laughs> so i think i'm gonna do that so i'll switch over once the code's ready but i honestly really want to pick up some fences I'm, i don't want to wait you know I'm feeling impatient. I'm feeling impatient. So let me get that pulled up. Let me switch over. I don't have a Discord server. Um, right now, I really only use like Instagram. And I'm trying to start using a little bit more of like TikTok as well. Um, and I do have... A Twitter, which I need to like learn how to like use, <laughs> which sounds really dumb. Um, but I have not used Twitter since I was like, like regularly since I was like 18. And so I just never really use it anymore. So, um, yeah, it's been kind of a while. And then, yeah, with Discord, honestly it confuses the heck out of me so i use discord for the like treasure island that i have and i'm part of like a couple people's servers like ej plays and like olives crossing and then like that's it because i just get like i get so confused i don't know it's just new to me and so i just need to like figure it out uh okay let's see we're gonna go Okay, perfect. What is your favorite one? What's your favorite villager? Or do you have one? Is it even, is that even something you can pick? Like, that is so, it's so difficult to even pick one. Personally, it's, it changes for me, but I love Celia and I would freaking love to get her amiibo card. Like, that would be so cool. Okay, I've got us almost ready to fly out. And then we can get stuff. Ooh, I didn't empty my pockets, but I think I only have like one thing. So I think we're good. Right now, Orville's like, hey, um, you can't do construction and fly. Like, yeah, I know, I know. Just take it off. Just take it off. Okay. Let's get stuff. <laughs> There's just something about running around a treasure island that is very like fulfilling. I love shopping and this is like shopping, you know, but without the money. Well, 
technically we do kind of pay money. My husband uses his uh, Prime Gaming subscription for this every month for me because he's the best. Mm. <clears throat> you have Lily's. I love Lily and Tia. Rosie's so cute. Gail is amazing. Oh my God. Lolly and Blue Bear. Blue Bear's so cute. I want Blue Bear. I know I have an orange section on my island, but it'd be so fun to do a blue one because I could have like characters like Blue Bear. That's so fun. Lily is amazing. What a good amiibo to have. Okay, let's get to work. What are my pockets like? They are empty. We can have everything we want. Everything we want. Um, if yeah, if y'all are ever interested, this is um gosh, what is their Twitter or their Twitch? I can't remember. I think it's HCNH um Treasure Islands on Twitter. <clears throat> okay, so we need those benches, but I'll stock up on the fence first. Look at this. I love that they have it in all of these colors so I can, I don't have to customize them. I can just get the one that I need. Like, how easy is that? Let's stock up. Oh my God, Bob. Yes, you lost Bob. Oh, that's rough. I love Bob. I love that he was like, he's so famous because he was apparently the first Animal Crossing villager like made. And the fact that his name is Bob is, like, even better. Like, it's so basic and just perfect. We love that. Oh, man, we are going to be stocked up. Yes, he's iconic. He's iconic. There's just so many good villagers. Like, it's just so hard to... It's so hard to choose a favorite for me. Because it will change. Oh, no. Someone's flying in. Someone's flying in. We got to wait. The only downside of a treasure island. But being subscribed to someone is so much easier. I used to like wait like 30 minutes just to be able to get into an island to get stuff. And I was like, I can't. I go so often that it's it's worth the subscribe or like worth subscribing. Ooh, we've got Lily coming in from Lil Bay. I like seeing what their outfits look like, though, when they land. Let's see who this person is. Come on, Lily. Come on in. Come join. Oh my god, that's cool. On Traitory. Have you ever used, um, whatchamacallit, Nukazon? I love Nukazon too. Um, before I learned how to like get the most out of Treasure Islands. Oh my God, look how cute Lily is. Before I learned how to like get the most out of like Treasure Islands, I would definitely go on Nukazon a lot and I did a lot of trading on there. And it was fun. And somehow, somehow I never actually got scammed. So many people tell stories about getting like scammed or like people stealing stuff off their island. And I'm like, that sucks. Like. That's sad. Like, are those, like, literal children doing that? Because, like, who else would do that other than, like, a six-year-old? Like, that's mean, you know? So that was, like, always a big fear of mine. But thankfully, it never happened. <clears throat> well, I these are kind of making me think about adding more benches, like, other than pink. Because that's kind of cute. How many do we have so far? We got five of them. Let's get six and then we'll get like three green, three yellow. That'd be kind of fun. I know, look, pink for life, right? But we'll see how they look. If they suck, we'll just put them back to pink, you know? Okay, darn, our pockets are full. 
I was gonna get a few more things, but it's, it's full. <laughs> we really stocked up quickly, didn't we? This is my favorite island to go to as well, just because like, there's so much stuff. Like there's an abundance of it. And so I don't have to like keep going back. Like I can just fill up on what I need and then I'm good. I'll switch over while I leave. Just, I don't know. I just want to be careful. I don't want to get like booted from the server and then be like, what the heck? You know, I did ask if I could stream and they were like, yeah, I just want to make sure. Oh, that must make it hard to do. That must make it hard to decorate. I bet it probably helped. Do you ever use like the the bench to customize stuff and like see what color it is too? I bet it also just looks so fun because it's like, <laughs> yeah, that's smart. That's smart. I bet it also turns out really fun though because like, honestly, there's not really anything, in my opinion at least, I don't think there's anything really like ugly in the game you know so it can't can't ever turn out too bad ryan <laughs> i feel like uh when i do my hair like this i feel like a popular girl in high school <laughs> i honestly do <laughs> i feel so fancy but thank you I had too much time on my hands today. I didn't go skating, so this is what we did instead. We got pretty. Yeah, no, I don't. <clears throat> You're too mean. I was too, like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I think, and for me in high school, like, I have my besties that are still with me like today and like that was all I needed you know I didn't like enough people in high school I didn't like enough of them and maybe I just also wasn't as good at like faking it like <laughs> so like I probably could have had more friends but I was like uh, uh, you know you don't like enough people now. <laughs> well, Q. <cute. laughs> I I will say I do like the um the black one. Uh like the black rattan bed, I think is cool. Personally. Um but as like a furniture series, it's not the cutest. That's fair. It's not it's not the cutest. I want to do like a YouTube video where I challenge myself to use like the ugly items in Animal Crossing, like people's least favorite items. I think that'd be hilarious. Cause also like the views are very mixed on that, you know? I specifically got that fence to put here. I'm so, of course that's not gonna fit. Why did I think it would fit? Okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, my YouTube is Moonbeam Crew. You can find it in my Twitch links. I upload all my Twitch VODs. Um, almost all of them. I stopped for a little while because I just like was getting lazy. I don't know. Um, but I uploaded yesterday's on there and I'll upload this one as well. So yeah it's in my links um let me see also chat went ahead and like put it up to up there a little bit but <clears throat> what i thought that's the one that i i swear did i forget my own chat commands <laughs> megan no I forgot my own chat commands. <laughs> well, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> I knew, I swear I had them set up. I swear. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Okay, 
Let me look at my chat commands. Am I crazy? Huh. No, I actually didn't. I didn't set one up. Anyway, thank you, Q. <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah. Let me write myself a little note to, like, first off, make more chat commands and memorize them so I don't do that. <laughs> and I actually remember them. That's so funny. We tried. I, uh, anyway, I'm... I upload my VODs there, but one of my goals this year is to actually start producing uh, like videos to put on it. And I'm thinking like once a week, just something fun, something different than what we do on stream. So I don't know, I'm kind of nervous to start it, honestly, like a, a little more than a little, but like I'm, I'm pretty nervous, but I think it would be really fun. Where do I get my custom paths? Um, like the designs? I find a lot of them on Pinterest. Like, most of them. So, like this one, literally just searched up City Road design and found it. Um, I don't remember the creator, but I do have it um, in my Pinterest. Like, if I go to... Hold on. I need to make a chat command for this, but here's all of my links. And I have one in there for my Pinterest. And you can see all of my Pinterest codes sectioned out by the theme. And some of them are code, some of them are inspo, but I do have one for my city code. Ooh, how long did it take to put them down? A while? <laughs> quite a while it wasn't that bad a lot of it I did off stream and I just like zoned out to a YouTube video and did it maybe like an hour or half an hour honestly it, I don't think it was any more anywhere near over an hour so it was okay once you get going it's not it's not so bad and if you like put on a YouTube video or a stream it's like ah, easy peasy it's kind of relaxing for me. Tearing it all up or like kicking them off is not relaxing to me, but like putting them down is not so bad. Oh my God, look, we've got Poppy and Pecan having a conversation. Should we interrupt them? Let's do it. You must know that everyone on this island thinks you're so interesting. Can you teach me to be less bland? Oh. I merely try to maintain a certain mystique. I'm sure I'm hardly more interesting than you, bestie. What if I was to ask you what you were up to last night? Last night? I guess I ate dinner and then I read until I fell asleep. I'm boring, Nutty. <laughs> Look at Pecan being all tired. You just need to be more coy, less of an open book. Now try again. What were you up to last night? Um, that depends. What do you think I was up to? <laughs> Oh no, now I just sound like I'm hiding something. No worries, your honesty is, honesty is part of what everyone loves about you. Was that a, was that a burn? Was that shade? I don't know, I think Pecan is kind of shady, but I like her. You have to watch on your Xbox. <laughs> PCs are expensive. They are. That's fair. That is fair. My husband almost bought a uh, Xbox today, but then the pickup didn't work, and so we did not. Unfortunately, yes, the shade. I think that Pecan is like one of those like Southern ladies that would be like, "Oh, bless your heart, bless your heart, you sweet thing, bless your heart." <laughs> oh, we have another conversation. What? Hey, Megan, perfect timing. Celie and I were just talking. She's looking for some new food ideas. That's right, Megan. Can you help me out? I'm stuck in a food rut. I keep cooking the same old things again and again, so I'm asking around for ideas. Honestly, same. Honestly, same. I keep running out of ideas. I asked Teddy here, but I want more opinions. And his ideas are a little dull. <laughs> I didn't know Celia was shady, too. 
Wow. Hmm. So how about you? What do you think I should make? Ooh, okay. Okay, I love these. Scalloped potatoes, cake, just not protein shakes. I'm gonna go with scalloped pota potatoes. That's unique. That's interesting, right? A scalloped potato protein shake? That sounds really, really weird. Scalloped potatoes are the best. Piping hot, covered in melty cheese. Mmm, bestie. I'll let you know when I'm making them again, Megan. Great idea. So, if you didn't want to make a protein shake, why am I here? Oh no! Q, you said cake! Well... Imagine though, if we did say cake, Teddy would have said cake protein shake and that would slap. That would be good. Scalloped potato protein shake, not so much. I also love that Celia did some arguments. Poppy, are you okay? You good? You all right? She's fine. Um, oh, Teddy, what a jock. I do like him though. I don't know if we'll keep him forever, but I really like him. That's not what I wanted. Pecan, after that, she's staying forever. She's staying forever. But cake with protein powder? <laughs> Fair. Um, have you ever tried to make those little like mug cakes, but with protein powder? People are like, oh my God, it tastes just like cake, but it's got 20 grams of protein. And you eat it and it's like disgusting. Because that's my experience every time. And it's kind of rough. <laughs> um, like, I try. Like, I want to be adventurous with it, but it's not good. Right. I want to make a mug cake, just not with protein powder. Because they are good. They are good. This doesn't fit perfectly. Oh, hello. Um, if it's all right with you, I'd really like to give you a jumper work suit. I don't... Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I know, Q, I know. What we can do is make a little, like, exit. So, if I put this up to this edge, like so, um... Actually, hold on. I need to fit another one like right here. So let me put that one down first. I have an idea. I have an idea. I think it'll work. And also we need an opening. I don't want everyone to be like blocked off forever, you know? Like I want them to be able to go to the beach and like see the water and pretend like they're not in like a tiny little city. Yeah. Okay. Um... Hmm. Hmm. It's uneven a little bit still. <laughs> no beach for you. Ah, oh, this isn't gonna work. Okay, we'll put this back here. Scoot it all the way back, right? And now we'll put one back here. This will work. I've got this. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, no? Thank you. Let me see how this looks if I put one up against it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and this will be our little exit, right? So if we put like a little path down here and like extend the sidewalk, I think it could work. You know? Remember you have to do the pole in the corner because they don't... I mean, that's true. Let's go to the beach each. Let's go get away. Um... I think, yeah, I love that this works, right? I could do the, like, pole thing. I think this works. It's okay. It's less work, also. <laughs> it's less work. I like it, I think. It's good. It is good. Does anyone know when winter in Animal Crossing is over? 
I'm tired of it. And I'm tempted to time travel. Um, Q. <clears throat> I don't have my TikTok set up yet. So I post a lot of reels on Instagram. But my goal tomorrow is to get my TikTok set up. Um, essentially what I'm going to do is change my old TikTok into a TikTok for this. So I'm going to get that done tomorrow. And so I will have it set up. It'll probably be called like Moonbeam Crew because like easy peasy, easy to remember all that stuff. So I will probably update Instagram as soon as I make it. Late February? I think so. Um, when does winter end in animal crossing let us see february 24th i wonder if that's when like the grass is like fully green though you know because that'd be nice i don't know guys let's find out <laughs> Let's find out. Let's be a little chaotic today. Let's time travel two months. Actually, it's only like a month. Because uh, I've already time traveled so much in this game. It's a habit I cannot break. No, the thing is, Q, I'm ready for the weeds. Weeds are my favorite thing to decorate with. They don't spread... Um, as bad as flowers in my opinion and even if they do you can't ruin them when you run over them and i don't know they're just cool i like them okay so Okay, I just need to restart it real quick. Um, but yeah, I love weeds. I think also the weeds in spring look the best. I think the winter weeds are kind of ugly, personally. Also true. Um, w <laughs> the problem is, doing an island with four themes requires quite a lot of uh, custom designs. So I don't know if I'll have room. Like, I don't know if I'll have room. Okay, I kind of want to, like, be a little more chaotic. We're going to change the time of day to 9.15. 9.15. But, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to make it work because it would be really beneficial over on my farm core island and the jungle core island where we're going to use a lot more flowers because uh, that is such a good hack uh, I actually learned that from Liz the Lass over on YouTube she's on Twitch too but like I watched a lot of her YouTube videos and I saw her do that and I was like you can do that <laughs> like that's so smart because <laughs> there's nothing worse than like getting your flowers to look perfect and then just like they keep spreading and spreading and spreading and spreading you never know what theme to do i mean you don't have to pick just one you don't even have to do it the way that like i'm doing it right i have four different themes but it's very like they're very sectioned off like i think as long as you're creating something you like it can have elements of whatever theme you want you know Oh my god, it's springtime. I went ahead to March 1st just to make it easy. And I put it at 9 a.m. so we could like see everything. Four themes is very fun so far. I'm pretty happy about it. Um, but even just like the the simple like thought of not sticking to one theme is so nice. It's so much less stressful, I gotta say. Hey, bestie. We still got our sweater on, huh? March 1st. Oh, they're shooting stars tonight, too. Shouldn't have traveled to the morning. Shouldn't have traveled. Yeah, go to a treasure island then. Stock up. Help. It, it helps get that inspiration flowing as well. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh. 
Grass is looking a little dry still, but it's not hot, um, so it's easier to build on for me. Honestly, I do love that hairstyle. And oh my god, look at the weeds. They're gorgeous. I don't know if I'm alone in thinking the weeds are like the best part, but I think they're so fun. In the spring, they've got the yellow and purple and they're just so cute. They're so cute. Yeah, here's where I have all of the villager houses just chilling until they're ready to move. Oh no, Patty. Patty, please don't move out. <laughs> please stay. I'm sorry for leaving. Sorry for leaving you all for like a month and a half. We will have all sorts of fun, Patty. Okay, I want to go see how everything else is looking. I'm really excited. Oh, the bees are out too. They're so cute in this game. So... Honestly, a valid concern, Q. Uh, when I time travel too long, like my switch will be off by like six or seven months. Um, for example, Fall Guys will stop working. Like it won't load because it's like confused. Um, so uh, that's the only game I've noticed it stopped working with. But yeah. Oh, this is looking cool. Let's go look at our soccer field. Oh, this looks great. Oh my god. I love it. I'm so excited to see less uh, snow. I was getting tired of it. So you really only play Mario and like Pokemon? Yeah, I mean, it would probably be fine. And like, if it's not, just time travel back, you know? Sweet. Oh, look, Vladimir's home. Okay, we're going to go see Vladimir's apparel shop. Uh, I'm pretty proud of this one. It's fun. <laughs> it turned out cute. Wow, and he's sleeping. Wake up. Okay, I'm sorry. I just wanted to show off your house. So yeah, this is our apparel shop <laughs> while Vladimir sleeps in peace. How many stars is my island? I Honestly, it's probably like one right now because I have like zero trees and like minimal flowers um, for now. But yeah, I can check, but it's probably like one. So this is his like apparel shop. He's kind of like a rock dude. Um, we've got the shutter shades like you would find at Spencer's, random lights, some kooky socks. I'm really proud of this. I love it. I think it turned out pretty fun. I just can't believe he's like sleeping. I really want to take a photo of this room, but it's hard when like everyone's in the way. So let me see if I can like... <sighs> Okay, that's not a bad photo, right? That's cute. I'll crop it a little bit. Yay, okay, we got a couple. Nice. I did, yeah. We completely customized his house. Uh, once you do, I think, 30 homes in the DLC, you can customize your villagers' houses on your island. So we made it our little shop. I love it. His turned out really fun. Yeah, it's like the best feature of the DLC by far. That's what really sold me. I was like, oh, heck yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can vibe with that. Okay, Isabel. How many stars is my island? Go ahead and judge me. <laughs> Sorry, my allergies are so bad. Okay. I should have taken Claritin, to be honest. <clears throat> oh, I know. That is a bummer. You have to, like, work your island up to be able to, like, use it. For sure. Okay. Island evals. 
Where are we at? Where are we at? Oh! Better than one star. <laughs> Better than one star. Um, yeah. This island used to be like five stars, but because most of the island is completely empty and I literally like right now I have uh, four trees planted. That's why. There's no trees, no flowers, um, like barely at all. And so that's why it's so low. <laughs> so whoopsie. Yeah, it's definitely fallen. Okay, what do they have to say, Isabel? I've been shipwrecked there a few times, so I consider myself an authority, and I've got ideas. Here's one. I feel like a fellow's rescue party might arrive a bit sooner if that place had more stuff going on. Add some hustle, add some bustle, make your island a port of call that'll turn heads and drop anchors. Who the heck said that? Who the heck said that? To flatten? Right? It took me about a week to flatten my island. Uh, I had it completely done um, like 85% of the way, honestly. Not completely. But it was like 50%. Oh my god, not 50. Anyway, it was almost done. And then I hated it, right? So, it took me about a week to flatten because it was a lot of work, yeah. I didn't just like, I couldn't do it for that long. So I would go for like an hour or two at a time. And, uh, yeah, I would, like, put on a stream, put on a YouTube video, and just, like, go to work. I carried around a storage shed and a trash can. I threw away all my plants. I put everything else into storage. Yeah, it took a very long time. It was worth it, though. It gave me a really good starting ground for what I want to do now. You know? Okay. <clears throat> we have gotten... Ugh. a very solid amount of work done i want to take a photo of our little construction site before i forget oh am i stuck okay um yeah cute <laughs> Cute. I wish there was a tool that made it a lot easier to remove all the hills. Cause yeah, that part, that was rough. That was rough. In the end, like I said, it was definitely worth it. Uh, it just took a while. So um, I'm gonna head out for the day. Uh, we usually uh, will go for about three hours. Um, and again, I will be back on Thursday. So we're here Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Hopefully tomorrow, wish me luck, wish me luck. I don't, I don't know yet everything I want to do, but I really want to try and film a YouTube video tomorrow. So wish me luck. Hopefully that content will come soon. Hopefully I'll get my TikTok all set up. Um, again, I have a TikTok account with like a lot of followers. I just don't use it anymore. So I'm going to just like archive all of the posts and then like switch it to be Moonbeam Crew. So I'm really excited about that. But thank you for joining. Q, it was really in the lovely chatting with you. Um, and everyone that joined today um, with Kat, Jordy, Strawberry, Bridgie, all of y'all for joining the Moonbeam crew. Like, thank you so freaking much for the support. I really appreciate it. And today was super fun. It was also productive. We got a lot done. Yeah. So I know I hate to leave for the day. It's been super fun though. So thank you, Q. Um, and thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Leptic. Thank you, uh, Lori. Just everyone that popped in. Okay. <sighs> I think I might go do some roller skating. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> now that I say it, I'm like, oh, I don't know. I could just like rest a little. I'm not sure yet. Either way, I hope everyone has a lovely night. I don't know if anyone has plans, but hope it's I hope it's a pretty uh pretty good night or day wherever you may be. Here in Texas, it's is evening. It's time to like either get stuff done and then settle in or settle in. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be back on Thursday. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Goodbye. Also, this will be on YouTube later tonight. If you miss any part of it, 
You can definitely go see it. 11 p.m. Thanks for hanging out, cute. Bye, Lori. Love ya. Okay, this will be on YouTube later on. If anyone wants to go back and see it, it'll be there. And yeah, I'll see you guys Thursday. Bye.